The concept of not being able to move one side of your face is concerning to say the least. Many would be concerned they could be experiencing a stroke. You have likely seen Justin Bieber's now paralyzed face in the media. The young artist has come out explaining that he suffers from a condition known as Ramsey Hunt Syndrome. I'm Dr. Adam Goodkoff, and today I'll explain some of the lesser known causes of facial paralysis and what exactly Ramsey Hunt Syndrome is. First, we need to understand a disease known as varicella zoster virus, or VZV. This is the virus causing chickenpox, and also the adult form of the disease known as herpes zoster. The virus is peculiar in that once it causes infection, it lays dormant in the root of your nerve, causing no symptoms. It can stay inactive for years this way, but does often reactivate later on in a disease known as shingles. Shingles is a vesicular or small blister-like type rash across a single area of the body. Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, or herpes zoster oticus, as it is called in the medical communities, is a specific version of this reactivation, and this time it targets the nerves of the head and face. Ramsey-Hunt syndrome is classically described by facial paralysis, vesicles within the ear canal, and hearing changes. Unfortunately, the hearing changes can be serious, leading to tinnitus or ringing in the ear, much like that of musicians who listen to music too loud. And it gets worse. Unlike the facial paralysis in Bell's palsy, the paralysis in Ramsey-Hunt syndrome can unfortunately be irreversible. The treatment is by way of antiviral medications and steroids. However, there is question to if they have any real effect at all. What seems to be clear from the limited research is that starting these medications early in the course increases the chance of them working in the long term. You might be wondering how we could prevent this. Well, we can't prevent it, but there is reasonable data to suggest that the vaccination against varicella virus, which is again chickenpox, and a normal shot that children get, could decrease your chances of contracting this disease later in life. That said, as with all vaccines, nothing is 100% and you unfortunately still can get the disease. So next time you see a rash with blisters, think twice. If it is in fact a pox virus and you can track the virus, it could lay dormant for years in your nerves waiting to strike. Unfortunately for Justin, this strike came by way of something that could threaten his music career and even worse, his long-term health. If you learned something from today's video, please hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to have your health explained.